Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a new video. I know it's been a long time since I've posted anything new. We've just had a lot of stuff going on in our lives. Some stuff good, some stuff bad. So I've just been dealing with that. But I'm back online and I'm back vlogging. So I'm going to give you a video today on food storage and how we store our food. So because we live downtown Toronto, we try and take advantage of all of our space. Like we store food in a couple different areas so it's not like we just have one pantry and that's where we store it so first of all I'm going to start off with my fridge organization so we're actually trying out a new system um, this is our fridge and we, what we've been doing is we go to the market and we buy all our vegetables and then we just started to cut them up and have them like prepared so we have like carrots and cucumbers, celery, pineapple, blueberries, all that stuff. So it's actually already washed and ready to go that way if we're hungry when we want a snack we won't be so tempted to go for chips and we'll get something healthier. And then what I did is I actually put in these white baskets I got from the dollar store so there's three of them on the top shelf and then there's three on the mid shelf and then we actually just put all of our drinks in the bottom um so what I'm using these bins for is just to store like items so this one for example has all my son's yogurt and then this one has all his fruit sauces and then this one over here has all of his juice boxes um, on the top, I have like whatever is the next meal for the day to defrost. I have prepared vegetables for the next day's dinner. And then I just keep our prepared salads in there. And then that way we won't forget that we have them and we won't waste them. So we also have drawers down here, which are actually meant to be like your, um, your fruit. And we use this one for like cheese and cream cheese and all that sort of dairy products oh, for us. And then we try and keep all the like items together. So here you'll see like all our hamburger kind of condiments are there. And then we have all of our coffee here, our salad dressing, our drink mixes. And then the bottom shelf is kind of like a more random condiment shelf. So let me just get Ethan out of the fridge here. This is like one of his favorite places to talk. Every single time he gets a chance. This is where he'll try and pull things out. And Yes, yeah, that's right. Close, buddy. Okay, so then up in our cupboard is the next place I'm going to show you. So this is kind of our cupboards that we have here. Stretches across the kitchen. So up in this cupboard, um, I keep kind of snacky things that aren't the healthiest for you, but I just keep them there, and then that way I'm not as tempted because I don't see them all the time. I don't really go into my baking cupboard that often, so I'm not as tempted by them. And then in this cupboard here, I just bought this turntable, and honestly, it's like the best thing ever. It doesn't usually fall. Um, but yeah, it's the best thing ever, and then I can just spin and see like what soups I have and stuff, and I don't have to like dig through them and pull a bunch out. I also got this rack here that I think I've vlogged about already, um, maybe not, but it's just like a shelf that goes up three levels. And I'm just storing the spices on it. And then here I'm taking advantage of more of those plastic bins. And I'm able to store like with like. And these are like his crackers and his cookies and stuff like that. Um, in the top part we have more spices in this basket up here. And then because I'm huge on stockpiling, if you've seen any of my videos, I just keep the rest of our stockpile of condiments up there. So we can move on to the next one. The next food cupboard is actually this one here. Um, we just keep whatever cereal is on the go, whatever cracker is on the go in here. I have a lot more cereal, um, but that's just what's on the go now. So then I've also been trying to organize our freezer. And I just keep open boxes in here because this is the fridge freezer and it's not as big. So I just use like an open box of like chicken nuggets or pierogies or whatever is open stays in here so we can use it first. And then mostly it's just ice cream because... As I said, this is our big freezer. It's not, or sorry, our little freezer. It's not our big freezer. So we don't use it as often. Sorry, it's dark right here. But I'm going to show you if you just walk through my dining room. Let me show you guys the door so you can kind of figure out what it looks like. 
So anyways, this is our storage room, I guess. Um, so we do have a large freezer here. I'm still working on a better way to organize it. Like I put our meat on this side and then I have a bag there, a grocery bag that I've just stored all of the meals that I prepared for the slow cooker. Um, but it's still like a lot of random boxes and stuff. So if you guys have any ideas on how you store your boxes of items in your deep freezers, I would love to hear them. Just leave a video response or a comment on here. And then we're going to move on to the rest of my pantry. So in here I have snacks, pasta, pasta sauce, all the sort of baking goods that you would need. Um, and then all my flours and sugars and everything on the bottom. And then we actually have two of these cupboards in here. And then this one I used to store a lot of um, like dry goods, I guess. Is that what they're called? I don't know. Like patch, packaging goods. So we have a lot of Ziploc and like, I don't know, Tupperware and that sort of stuff. And then these top two shelves are actually all cereal. So whenever I see cereal, like especially the more expensive ones, like this Nature one's pretty expensive or it's mini wheats. Whenever I see it on sale, I try and pick up an extra box or two because I know that we'll use it and we'll save a lot of money by doing that. The number one thing I hate paying full price for is cereal because it does go on sale on such a regular basis. If you just wait one or two sale cycles, so like one or two weeks, then you would get your cereal that you were looking for on sale. So it's better to just buy one that you can use and then have one as a backup. And yeah, that's most of our food storage. We have our water and our pop up top here. We actually don't store our pop in our regular fridge. And it's going to get dark here because it's kind of nighttime. But um, we store it in a mini fridge. I'm not sure if you guys can see this here, but in the corner here we have a mini fridge. And this is just making me realize how dark my living room is. You guys probably can't see any of that. But that's where we store our pop. So it actually keeps us away from it so we don't drink as much pop. My husband's actually trying to give up pop right now, so we'll see how that goes. But I wish him luck. I don't know. He's kind of a coke addict, and I know that sounds really terrible, but I mean the pop, but not the drug. Thank God. Although they're both kind of like a drug. Anyhow. Um, okay, and then what we have here is we just have a fruit bowl in the middle of our kitchen. That way we can just keep things that are easy on the go. You can grab them, take them, or like if you just want a snack, you're not as tempted to go into all the cupboards if you see like a nice piece of fruit that looks good. Hopefully you'll take it, at least that's the idea. So we'll see how all this works. A lot of this is new, like all the bins in my fridge is all new. So we'll see how it works and I'll let you guys know. If you guys have any cool tips on how you store your food and food storage, let me know. I'd love to see your videos. Okay, talk to you guys soon. Bye.